When it comes to Western art east of the Mississippi, look no further than the Booth Museum in Cartersville, Georgia, home of the annual For the Love of the Art Gala and Art Auction. Western art collector was a special guest at this year's annual show, held February 25th at the Booth, the sprawling home of thousands of pieces of historic and contemporary Western art. Events at this year's show included the Boots and Saddles pre-gala party, which featured music and dancing, card games, a silent auction of movie memorabilia, and an introduction by museum director Seth Hopkins, as well as a few words from the great Western painter Howard Turpening. They've done a magnificent job hanging this exhibit. It's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful job that they've done. They've worked hard for a long time, and it's truly an honor to be here at this museum. It's a great place. Seth is one of a kind. Turpening, who had five decades worth of artwork hanging in a retrospective at the museum, was the guest of honor at many of the events, including a special discussion about movie posters. Guests had the pleasure of hearing Howard talk about some of his most famous posters, including Gone with the Wind, Sound of Music, Dr. Zhivago, Lawrence of Arabia, and Cleopatra. Western Art Collector was proud to participate in the discussion and share the stage with the Western art legend. The Saturday Night Banquet included a cocktail reception, a silent art auction, and a live art auction, both of which raised more than $180,000 for the booth. An additional $17,000 was raised for the specific purpose of bringing young people to the museum to experience Western art firsthand. The gala closed by honoring artist and illustrator Robert McGinnis, who was awarded the Booth Western Art Museum Lifetime Achievement Award. McGinnis was unable to attend the event, but guests were treated to a video of his works, which included Western art, movie posters, book covers, and his work with the James Bond franchise. Next year's Lifetime Achievement Award will be given to sculptor and Renaissance man Ed Dwight. For more coverage of Western art shows all around the country, be sure to check out Western Art Collector at westernartcollector.com.